All right, we have a little something different for us today. A nice little treat. 1964 Mercury Comet Caliente. You know, it's really cool about this one. It has the K code 289 motor under the hood and a factory four speed sticking out of the floor right there. 33,000 miles on the odometer, claimed to be original. The last owners had this car about 15 years. It feels like a nice, unabused, original car. I can't. I can't say that Miles is actual, I don't know, but it certainly has the feel of a nice low mile car, which we'll get into all that, but a clean straight car, beautiful colors too. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the information, take your time and look at 100 pictures top to bottom, and that's also where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Very, very solid dry car. Underneath is all original metal. There is zero rot. The floors, the frame rails, the rockers, the lower quarters, no patches, no rotten, crunchy areas, just nice, clean, virgin metal. Uh, up front, the front end components look very clean. I think it's been maintained as needed, but it all looks good. They have added a sway bar to the front. They've upgraded the shocks and back their coil over shocks. Um, drum brakes at all four wheels. They're working properly. Each car goes through our shop. We have a 10,000 square foot shop facility and they're closely inspected and test driven. Uh, brakes are good, e-brakes hooked up. Dual exhaust system looks like new, sounds great. They got uh, glass pack style mufflers on there. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. It'll surprise you how good it sounds. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean, four speed's clean, uh, it was born a four speed, the original tags on the door, uh, 325 ratio in the rear end. So underneath, solid, very well sorted. The body on the car is outstanding, uh, absolutely straight, the gaps line up right on the money. All clean, smooth, no rust, lines up nice, it's straight. It fits right, no issues, no funny areas. The body is really great. All this is great. Nice body lines too. It's a nice handsome car. I was actually excited to get this car in. By far not our most expensive car, but it's just got a nice masculine look to it. Now, I'm gonna call the car rust free because it really is dry. One blister starting, not even a bubble. It's just uh, it's a little blistering on the paint right there. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. But the rest of the car, just dry and clean. This is smooth all the way down to the bottom and clean. Around the wheel well lip, underneath here, all clean, original metal, not damaged. Repainted vintage burgundy. That's its original color. It's a beautiful color, especially with the Palomino interior. Very very rich looking. Uh, the paint, metal flake is light, laid out evenly. It's smooth, it's glossy. We've had this car a couple weeks now. I've walked past it several times. I think, hey, it looks fantastic. Now that I'm looking at it, there are little chips touched up. I mean, there's a number of little flaws uh, in the paint. It's an older paint job. It was be painted before uh, the guy we got the car from bought it. But it, it presents itself well. Stand here and it looks brand new. Get up close, you're gonna see little touch-ups or marks. Um, doors shut like a brand new car. 
I love the hubcaps on these cars. It's always been one of my favorite. That's a hubcap. It looks like a chrome steel wheel with the exposed lug nuts in center. I think that's just cool. Yeah, some more little chips in the paint up here. Original windshield does have some faint wiper marks. The rest of the glass is really clear. Up front here, the grill is really good original. The bumpers might have been re-chromed because they look really good. All the rest of the chrome and trim on the car is just very, very good original. Molding all the way down the side. This is really nice. I think on the other side, there's like one dent that I had seen. Now the Caliente is the top trim level. I don't know exactly what that all comes with. Probably the trim on the sides, I would think has something to do with it. Wood grain interior and, and that sort of thing. Original antenna. Let's see how this door closes. Nice. This is actually, you can't tell, but it's like a, a grooved aluminum insert. It looks really sharp. I love the little tail fin here. Uh, tail lights do have some freckling on them. The tail panel is just a little bit worn, the black paint, but real nice. It's a locking gas cap. Rear window is crystal clear. All right, let's open it up, show you the inside. I like the inside just as well. I notice it still has the original Mercury keys. Like I was saying earlier, there's just a lot of original qualities to this car. It just pops open so easy. Uh, probably the original paint underneath the trunk lid and in the jam. Uh, actually, the whole trunk compartment's probably original. Good, clean. Look how nice the mat fits in here. Got the tire cover, got the jack assembly, got a spare. It's actually a new radial tire, extra hubcap. This is the box. There's a tissue dispenser inside. I'll show you in a minute. That's the old box that it came in. Very nice, tidy, complete trunk compartment. The door jams are really nice. I don't know if they've been painted or if they're original. Still has the original metal door edge guards. Weather strips look to be good original. Door panels mint. See the light in the door that works. See a little bit of wood grain. That's part of the Caliente. <clears throat> the dash area is really nice. This is uh, the dash pad, the chrome, the knobs. Very nice. Has navigation system for 1964. Look how clean, original radio. Now this would be a factory clock. That's an option. It's not working, but it's a factory clock. And then next to it, they put a cyclone tachometer, which does work. But getting back to the nice clean dash, uh, nice clean glove box, has owner's manuals. We also have uh, an illustrated uh, fact book. Here's the tissue dispenser. Kick panels, real nice. The carpet's probably been replaced. That looks real new. Comet uh, floor mats, but the shifter. Original four-speed reverse lockout shifter. The steering wheel uh, has a nice wood grain plastic. There are a couple cracks in it. Not all beat up and falling apart, but there are a few cracks. The upholstery is outstanding. Uh, just nice and plump and stitched right and, and and cushioned right, just really, really nice seats. Back seat as well, all nice, fresh, clean upholstery. Side panels are nice. It's original white headliner in very good shape. There's one little tear in the back. We got seat belts in front. Uh, original visors has the optional day night mirror. If you want to leave in the comments, anyone knows what that actually is doing. Now, let's see what that K-code motor is about under the hood. They were about to release the Mustang, and they did not want this car to steal the thunder. So the K-code in a Mustang was a 271, very high, you know, revving, solid lifter performance engine. Lee Iacocca did not want to put that into Mercury uh, and steal the thunder from the Mustang. So they, this is the K-Code motor. It's the Mustang Performance 210 horsepower motor, but they put a 600 CFM carb instead of the four or something, and it actually raised it to 230 horsepower. 
and I'm pretty sure that is the correct carb under there. It's a good size. It's original. Uh, it is dressed up with the Cobra air cleaner and valve covers. Other than that, it's stock. And just look how clean, tidy. Again, like an original car. Now, it has a generator. It's the last year for a generator. It went to an alternator in 65. Radiator's clean. The battery's secured properly. It has factory power steering. It's very, very clean, tidy. Under the hood's probably the original paint. smooth idle but a nice little growl when you rev it up this is a car that just feels real smooth no clutch chatter at all Yeah, there's been some comments about the number of Chevelles and Camaros and even Mustangs that we get. Well, here you go. Here's something different, and yet I still think it's cool. I love the colors, love the motor, love the four-speed. A uh, lot of, I don't want to say controversy, but a lot of talk about what the K-Code motor meant. A lot of people don't understand what I just explained to you. Um, you know, got a door shut nice. So just a cool car without having to spend a whole lot of money. And it's a nice car, nice original qualities. Go to volocars.com. The salesman will help answer your questions. They'll help get it delivered to your garage. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.